Hi YouTube, RV Jerry here. I haven't made a video for a while, a long while, but uh, I figured this is uh, a real important subject for RVers and wireless TVs, wireless phones, wireless routers, your routers at home and your routers away. Uh, so I'm going to try to explain some of the uh, wireless importance in today's um, uh, smart TVs and uh, the routers, the smart routers. Um, I do use Linksys routers so this will be solely on Linksys if you're looking for some other routers I have no information on those so uh, I'll be explaining the importance for RVers to pay attention to the wireless, the names that they give their wireless routers. And some of you may not know you're even using it, somebody else sets it up for you. So I'm going to write some stuff on a uh, whiteboard here and then try to explain this as simple as I can. Okay, I think I'm recording. <clears throat> First of all, I want to point out wire, the Ethernet cable between your houses, the, the big house, the little house, the garage, and the fifth wheel. It is 1000 megahertz. Now, the latest uh, router that I have is 5 gigahertz not gigahertz um, yes it's five gigahertz now three times these five gigahertz I can come up with speeds as fast as five gigabits per second now cell phones cell phone fifth generation the five the G5 they're talking about the 5G is as fast as five gigabits per second so you can see wire is the fastest uh, that we can connect between these places so we want a wire between this house and this house and a wire between this house and the metal garage mainly because wireless is not going to go through this garage and we also want a wire running from uh, this main router here to the fifth wheel. Even though we're only going to be there sometime and most of the time we're away from uh, our property when we're in our fifth wheel. So uh, speed. This speed is important. Okay, I hope you got a clear understanding of the different speeds, uh, wire versus wireless. So now we're going to talk about the wireless, the wireless networks that we use so much now. Our phones and our TVs, um, our things that we do streaming, streaming with, like the uh, the Roku, uh, some other things, Fire. What's that FireWire? forget what uh, that one is um, let me erase this and I'm going to do some router stuff here okay I'm back with another uh, uh, drawing of the uh, this is actually details that you want in your routers I'm using the default that comes with the uh, Linksys routers so uh, the main router is always your number one. It comes as 192.168.1.1. Your second one is your second router, be in your little house, and it'll be the same number. You just change the last number to two. And then your garage is the same number, just the last number is three and your fifth wheel is going to be on the same wired network all of these are on the same wired network and its number is going to be the same number 
4. Last number is 4. Now for your wireless, the name of your wireless uh, network, you're going to have your main house. It could be house 1. It could be big house. Whatever you want to make it. Uh, this one, main house, and you want these to connect to the same wireless main house its name its wireless name is main house and the garage is also wireless main house now when you move between these homes like uh, with your phone and you're using wireless you will seamlessly switch between routers without having to reconnect to a different uh, router you won't have to you know stop and change your network this automatically does it it's what's great about these link sister routers now now the other fifth wheel is going to be a different name the wireless uh, router name can be anything you want but I needed mine to be descriptive so it is named fifth wheel so if I want to connect to the fifth wheel router I would uh, use your phone like you normally do when you change Wi-Fi's. Uh, you connect to your fifth wheel router. Now the reason you would do that in this network because the fifth wheel leaves this little network here, and when you're in your, when you're out, you want your other equipment to connect to your fifth wheel. The stuff in your fifth wheel you want to connect to this to your fifth wheel and I'm going to explain why you want those different from these like your TV is talking to uh, the main main house but the TV doesn't move between these things your phone does a tablet might but uh, not your TV and we have a lot of stuff that is connecting to our TVs that uses this wireless. When you're here, our, our main Roku, Roku, Roku uses this wireless to connect to it and to stream to it. We don't want our Rukus and TVs being confused and going between so when this leaves home leaves this network it needs to know what to connect to and if it's looking for this it's not going to find it so you name this one fifth wheel I hope that was clear now I'm going to erase this board and explain to you um, how these things are connecting to each other the TVs the Wuku cell phones I'll be right back okay I'm back with a uh, another uh, screen here here's the main house and the wireless name is main house and all of our um, devices that are connected to this wireless that don't change are things like a Roku, Roku, or a smart TV, or Fire Stick, or any wireless device like maybe a sound bar. Uh, that stuff would be connecting uh, and trying to connect to this wireless name. Now on the fifth well, you could have the same stuff, but all of this is connecting to this fifth wheel and its own name now you can see the importance here if these were connected to the main house wireless name when the fifth wheel leaves the property it's no longer connected to this so when you get to a RV park or somewhere where you get all set up, none of this stuff is going to connect 
to the fifth wheel's uh, router and TV because it's looking for this wireless. Uh, it's actually a wire wireless channel, so you can't. It it needs to have its own name. Your motorhome, your fifth wheel trailer, whatever RV you have, the wireless inside needs to have its own name. Now you're asking, why does it need a router? Because the Roku, um, the Smart TV, the Fire Stick, uh, sound bar, all those connect to a network. And that's why you have a router in your fifth wheel. If you uh, you could stream from a Roku uh, to a TV if you're connected with a wire. But if you're not, you have to have uh, a way to get to this TV. And the only way to get to that TV is like through an HDMI one. So if you're going to stream this to here to or here or soundbar, they've all got to go talk to some network. So you would want a network inside your RV. Hope I made that clear enough. Let me erase this and I'll try to make it clearer. But you got the fact that this name is good for anything that's stationary, but not for this, which is going to leave the network. Okay, be back. Okay, I'm back with the uh, wireless communication. Your main router, uh, main house, this would be your in, inside your house and it's connecting, all these things are connecting to your main house router. This is communicating with this wireless. These Rukus can communicate with it wireless. This can communicate, the Tableau, if you have a Tableau, is another one, wireless. And if you have a sound bar, that could be wireless. Your smart TV is connected to it wireless. So, for instance, if you have uh, this Roku, Roku, connecting to this, and it says, I want to send the streaming signal to the TV. So this goes from here to here to here. Now these sticks are a little different. You can plug these right in the back of the TV. And they go right in the HDMI port. But the communication through the internet is uh, through this thing. So you have to connect wireless from the stick, either of the sticks, to the router. Then you have to have an internet connection to your router. So let's see, is that clear? Okay, now you should have the same setup for your fifth wheel. This would just be fifth wheel instead of main house. And keep in mind the way we set this router up, the fourth router had the number four. It had the uh, 192.168.1.4. So when you came back home, it would automatically be a part of this um, main uh, house uh, router uh, via wire. And you can also connect these wired. If you get a TV, uh, smart TVs now uh, don't have an Ethernet connection. Some of the old ones do. I imagine some of these have uh, both connections. The one I have does not. So you could connect this and this with a wire. Not these, but you can the Tableau with the wire. And if you're confused about the first 
Uh, why would you connect with the wire? Because it's like a thousand times faster. So you can uh, look at the first part of the video where I explain the speeds. Uh, then you would uh, understand that uh, wire is better, but there's some cases where we don't have uh, that opportunity. Like the new smart TV that I have only communicates wireless. So in order to have that communicate wireless, I have to have one of these and one of these. So that's RV Jerry and um, that's my explanation of, of the wireless network stuff. Leave me a comment if you need the, that explained any anymore. I'm going to take the camera and show you what I use now. Uh, my routers and the uh, the latest Roku that we have. And of course we have two tableaus which are our DVRs which do our recording. And that's for home. Don't know how that would work on the road but uh, let's uh, put this down and I'll get the camera and show you the three routers. I have three boxes. The fourth one I don't have. So we'll be right back. Okay, the latest and greatest uh, router that I have is this Linksys. It's a dual processor, tri-band, all that good stuff. Lots of powerful antennas. Uh, one before that had like um, three antennas, I believe. And uh, see, in the garage I have our uh, Linksys uh, E4200. Uh, 4, uh, that does the wireless in the garage and the one that I just installed out here is an earlier one than that which is still uh, dual band does um, simultaneous uh, dual band so you can move in between that's the um, latest uh, TV I bought for the little RV it's a 32 inch TLC you cannot plug an Ethernet cable in that. That is completely wireless. You have to have something that communicates with it wireless. And uh, the laptop is also plugged into the uh, the network out here. The uh, TV communicates with the uh, router wireless. And all of my little gizmos here, the cables, all kinds of cables. Uh, and a lot of these cables that connect to the phone so I, I want to watch something on on the big screen I just plug that in uh, but with the router in here I don't need that because I have a program on the phone uh, smart view and I just start that and it uh, communicates with the TV wireless so you don't really have to do all those cables oh so that's it Placement of the routers. This is uh, towards the ceiling in the middle of the, of the house. Going out the back, out the back door, the middle of the house door. And you can see that uh, that's about the middle of the house. Uh, the signal can come out the ceiling, the roof there, fly right over to the little house, go right down in through the ceiling, or the front wall can go in through there. It can't get through the metal building. Uh, it can go as far as the fifth wheel, but it would be a weak signal. The distance would be too far for it. Inside the garage, uh, high up, we have uh, the uh, it's the E4200 router.
inside the RV we have the uh, the other router. I don't remember which one that was. That would be the the ultra range. <laughs> I don't know what uh, what the numbers are. No, oh, it's the uh, RWT 610N. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, I'm sure that's going to help some of you with this complicated equipment that's coming out that we have in our new RVs, our new TVs, our routers, and how they connect, how they talk to each other, our phones, our tablets, our laptops everything we're in this high-tech era that we like our high-tech stuff we're going to replace all of our old stuff in our RV and replace the new stuff and to do that we need a strong uh, strong routers I use Linksys uh, I have nothing against the rest of them uh, except I started with Linksys and I programmed a lot of uh, Cisco routers in my beginning day days of working in the IT department have a, a really good understanding of how these things work and how they communicate with, with each other and right now we're doing 5G for our cell phones and we're doing uh, 5 gigahertz for our uh, uh, TVs and our uh, streaming devices uh, like our phones now we can connect to a 5, 5G uh, gigahertz with them. That doesn't mean all the phones work with 5G mobile networking. That's just, just the 5 gigahertz networks that we run at home. Let's see what else. And we need that when we're streaming a movie. It uh, really streams more s smoothly. You don't drop a bunch of frames. Let's see what else. Um, uh, the new routers are fantastic. They handle more than I would say 20 things on my network TVs phones laptops tablets Roku's uh, tableaus some network drives I think that got that got all of the uh, wireless stuff that I have here and uh, I know the name in each one of them on, on my network so this is RV Jerry Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about these uh, routers, these new TVs, leave me a comment. I'll try to answer them. If not, I'll go online and get the answers. Thanks for watching.